The Kong Skull Island trailer just dropped last night, and it looks pretty darn good. Uh, I'm a big fan of the 2005 version directed by Peter Jackson, and that one holds a special place in my heart because it's just a great movie. Uh, I haven't seen the original, but I've seen parts of the 76 version, and it was just okay. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of Godzilla either, directed by Gareth Edwards, because of the thing that everybody complained about where you'd see the action starting and you'd cut away and go to something less interesting. That was frustrating. It, this isn't directed by Gareth Edwards, so that's good, but it is part of that franchise. They're going to eventually bring King Kong and Godzilla into the same movie. They're going to fight. Something big is going to happen because... Why not? It's Godzilla and King Kong. They're cool. So I'm going to break this trailer down for you, tell you what I found, what I thought, and there will be potential spoilers. I don't really know much about the movie, but uh, I'm going to give my theories and let's get started. I like how this trailer starts out with the slide projector. Uh, it shows immediately that this is from the 70s. The film is set in 1971, so it's around like the Vietnam era because you see the helicopters, it just screams Vietnam, you know. That shot where the helicopters are leaving the carrier and going into that storm cloud, that looks pretty cool. And I'm assuming the island is hidden in there, in that storm, because in the 2005 version it's hidden in fog. So of course, typical Vietnam era type of America, we're dropping bombs on an island just to map it. Whatever. I don't know. There's scientific experiments. I like that part where the pilot just says, is that a monkey? And then a ch palm tree just shoots straight through the helicopter. Kong is huge. Man, the 2005 version was like 25 feet tall, I think they said. It wasn't that big, but this version, my goodness, he's big. And they're making him that big so he can fight Godzilla. It's fine, I prefer the smaller King Kong from the 2005 version because if they really were to do the typical origin story where he's get, he gets taken to New York and he climbs up on top of the Empire State Building, this version could not do that. He is like half the height of the building. So it wouldn't work, he'd start crawling on it and just fall over. Man. That shot of Kong looking through the clouds of explosions, that's awesome. I have a feeling that that's a dream of Samuel L. Jackson, because if you look closely, that's him standing in front of him. I don't think that's actually going to be real. I think it's going to be a dream. So we get the typical uh, native tribe of the King Kong films, and John C. Riley is actually, looks, it kind of looks like he's in charge, or at least has a higher up position in this tribe. Uh, he's from an earlier mission, I'm assuming, from the mapping of the island where they're dropping bombs, and he's against all that. He basically tells them, if you're dropping bombs, you're starting a fight. And we see skulls of previous apes, gorillas, whatever he is, on the ground. We see that in the 2005 version. He walks upright too much, in my opinion. He needs to be more of an ape. There's the shot of the helicopters flying toward King Kong. I'm assuming this is at the end, probably. Um, you get the big hero shot. Um, he's probably just killed some giant beast. It's, it's like the shot in Godzilla when he gets up and roars. This is going to be that shot. I'm, that's my thinking. We learned that there are devil beasts living beneath the island called skull crawlers. Which is funny because John C. Riley admits that it doesn't sound quite as cool when you say it out loud. And he's just like, you call them whatever you want to call them. You get this shot of the, the, the Kongs, I guess you'd call them, the giant apes. And the, there's two of them that are dead, okay? And it looks like they're holding hands as they died. Some catastrophic event happened where these giant apes died. There were two of them, at least. It looks like there were more. So there's this scene where this man is looking out. He's surrounded by fire. He's looking out over this, what looks like a swamp. And there's a big skull crawler. 
This one's bigger than the other one that was chasing them in the boneyard. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I think this is a flashback or the beginning. And I think that this is John C. Riley's character. Oh good, we get the giant spiders again. <laughs> I mean, that was, that was a good part in the 2005 version where they fell into that, that pit. And they had to fight off all the bugs. They were giant bugs and they were crawling all over them. It was, it was a very well done sequence, but it was gross. And they're taking this, they're even bigger this time. John C. Riley has a cool sword. You know. But then we get this shot of this giant walking stick creature. And I just wonder what it is. It looks weird. It looks weird. And of course, we have to end the trailer on King Kong pounding his chest and roaring. Uh, it looks cool, but again, he's so big that, I mean, Godzilla and everything, when they move, they were moving kind of slow because they're so big, it's just hard to show them moving fast. And even in this trailer, you see him about to smack the water and he's moving slow. And then suddenly, he's able to pound his chest really fast. So that's the trailer, guys. What did you think? Are you excited to see this movie? I'm kind of excited. Uh, I'm a big fan of the 2005 version, so it's going to be really hard for me not to compare it to that. And I also wasn't that big of a fan of Godzilla. It was okay. It was cool, but just too much of the cutting away from the action. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. And if you guys want to see us uh, review the 2005 version of King Kong, or the other two versions, the original and the 70s version, uh, let us know in the comments section below. And if you like this video and you want to see more, you can click right here and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.